Hey YouTube, Jim here, coming back with another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys my four card SGC submission that I handed into them at the National. Uh, they were so super quick on getting these graded and getting them back. It was literally like five business days, um, a week and a half total for them to grade them. Bring them they brought them back to, to their office in Florida from the National in Chicago. They graded them got them in the mail and got them back to me in like a week and a half. Just just an amazing service. Um, so there, there's four cards here. Um, these are all gonna be probably lower grade cards. Um, just cards that I wanted to slab up and um, they had a great deal. It was $15 a card. So I figured what the heck, $15 a card. I had these, these cards that I thought would be good candidates. And let's see how we made out with them. So this first card is a card that I just shared um, shortly before the national. It was a card that I had picked up at a card show and it is um, Scott Rowland, uh, History of the Draft 2004 for Flair Skybox. I'm going to um, put those down. 2004 Flair Skybox. And um, the reason why I submitted this one, I thought this would be a good one, is because I, I probably graded the card at around an eight, but um, it's got an autograph on it, and I, I'm not 100% certain, but I believe that um, SGC grades the autographs for free on their submissions when they're, um, as long as they're like factory, um, factory, factory signatures like so if it was like a ttm or in-person auto or something like that they wouldn't grade the auto but um in this case the signature came through from the factory so i believe that they will um do an auto grade on this as well so i figured let me send this one in get it slabbed and um get the grade uh, the autograph graded and <clears throat> um let's see how we made out now when i um when i uh, submitted this <clears throat> when you when you go to do their submissions for those of you that are familiar you punch in you know the information in it their database pops up like what the card should be this this one wasn't popping up so the guy told me to just put as much information as i could in there and he said the research department would uh research it and get the proper information so it looks like what they put down here is uh 2004 skybox le hda dash sr scott Rowland history of the draft autographed and then it says copper, so apparently there was different um, different versions of this card. So this one's the copper, and this one is numbered 60 of 93, as it says right there. So let's see what we got for our grade. Okay, so they graded it a 9, but they did not grade the auto, but that's okay. That's okay, they didn't grade the auto, but um, I, I was under the impression that they graded auto, the autos uh, automatically when they um, were, were like that, but apparently, um, in this case, they did not grade the auto, maybe because it was a special. I don't know. Whatever. It got a nine. I was thinking it was an eight, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. It's a, a little bit of a thicker cod stock, too, which sometimes, you know, the thicker cod stocks are um, a little bit more con condition sensitive. So this next one, it's funny, this one has a has a um, plastic um, sleeve on the on the slab and the rest of these do not. So anyway, this one, uh, this is a low grade card, uh, probably just a one or a two, but it is a 1922 Nielsen's chocolate and um, just a pretty cool card. Yeah, I just actually just saw the grade but that's okay uh 1922 nielsen's chocolate um jake dorbert and uh, this is type two so um this one got a 2.5 for a grade which actually is higher than i was expecting because it does have some creasing but um that's great that's a beautiful card and boy it looks awesome in the sgc slab here um I'm really glad I had this slabbed up. It really, really looks good in the slab with the um, with the tucks there, and it's a really beautiful card. I really, really like this card. 
So there's that, 2.5. Next I had was a, um, what year is this? This was a 1970 Kellogg's Johnny Bench. Again, I'm expecting a mid-grade on this. I, I think I saw a little small little crack in there, and I know there was um, there was definitely one little spot where there was a little scuff. All right. But otherwise, I, you know, it, it really looked like, like it was in nice shape. And, you know, just looking at it here without breaking out a, a, a loop or a magnifying glass, I mean, just looks beautiful right there. Let's see what they graded it. They graded it a seven. Wow. I'm amazed that that, that that got a seven because I don't know. I, I'm Maybe I'm overly critical when I look at my cards, which I guess is good when doing submissions, but um, I thought I, I thought I definitely saw a little scuff on here somewhere, which, you know, I don't see now, but I did look at these with a magnifying glass, and I thought that there was a... See, it looks like there's a little scratch. You guys can't even probably see it. I thought there was a little crack somewhere too, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, again, that looks absolutely beautiful in the SGC slab. It's a great looking card, man. What a beautiful card. Look at that. Man, again, I am so thrilled that I had this I had this graded. It just looks absolutely beautiful. What a that's a stunning card right there. So there's a seven in the bench. So so far I'm I'm three for three with getting higher grades than I now this one's got a this one's got a plastic sleeve on it too. So I'm three for three. My they, they graded these three higher than I expected on all three of these. This one um, is a 1971 Tops Ted Williams. Uh, it's a manager card where he was uh, managing the Washington Senators. And for a 71, this one actually looked like it was in really nice condition. Um, again, I mean, probably looking at a six or a seven on this, maybe a five. I'm not sure really, to be honest. So let's just take a look at the front. There's the front. Um, again, um, with these black borders, the typical chipping along the edges. You can see a little bit down on the bottom, but this card um, was really nice. It didn't have a lot of that. It's um, not badly centered. I bet you this got at least a six. Yep, six. Good. That was a good guess. So, yes, pretty sweet. Um, not sure how I feel about that black bordered card in this uh, SGC slab kind of it kind of uh loses loses a little bit where the card ends and the the black tux begins but um all in all uh a six on that is beautiful very very happy with that so great um you know uh really happy with this submission i actually uh, regret in some sense not sending in more to get graded but um at the same time i wasn't really going to the national to do uh to do gradings, I didn't really want to allocate a lot of funds towards that. But again, I had, you know, for $15 a card, it, you know, even if I was going to buy one touches for these, I mean, you were looking at $4 for a one touch. So, I mean, this is a lot better than, than a one touch. And those, these two particularly are just absolutely stunning. Just love those cards, both of them. All right, boy. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate the, uh, I always appreciate you guys watching, and I always appreciate your comments, your thoughts, your opinions. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.